If you are a J2025 aspirant and looking forward to complete your entire syllabus, even starting from the scratch in just one month, then this is the greatest of all time block strategy for one month. Not just that, if you have completed at least partial portions, then your completion will happen even faster. And why this is a good strategy is also because for those of you who have completed 70-80% of the syllabus, this can be also used for uh, seeing the timeline for using it as a revision rather than you studying it from scratch you can follow it as a revision schedule for your january first attempt so let's get straight away to it and this is your captain shreyas who has been mentoring guiding kids for more than 13 years and producing the top notch all india ranks in je mains and je advance and many of my kids are doing extremely extremely well in their life now it's your chance to show this is my year. This is the J that I'm going to crack and I'm going to utilize the remaining months for J advanced preparation. So let's get straight to it. Make sure you have liked the video so that YouTube understands you're interested in more strategies like this and also subscribe to the channel so that obviously you don't want to miss such important things which are going to obviously life-changing events. So in the block strategy, what happens is basically we divide things into blocks but need not be of uh, you know uh, you know each block is of two chapters or one chapter no sometimes depending on the length of the chapter the weightage of the chapter there could be more chapters in a block or less chapters in a block not just that you can feel free to arrange these blocks as per your convenience so this is going to be a generic i would say block or blocks which you can arrange depending on how much you have completed or if you feel comfortable in doing this particular topic now rather than later on feel free to do that this is just to give an idea of how things are going to work and how much time approximately you will take to complete it by the way the plan that i'm going to give you for this block strategy for your first attempt will be such that within 28 days i hope you watch this video as early as possible within 28 days you will be able to revise or complete the syllabus and in, depending on how much you have completed already, you might complete it actually sooner so that you get enough time for revision, mock tests, whatever. So let's get straight to it. Starting off with physics, first I'll give you the weightage blocks, then I will give you the schedule blocks. So what is weightage blocks? Which are high weightage, which are low weightage? So in block uh, of high weightage for physics, you have mechanics, electrodynamics, optics, and modern physics. In fact, modern physics, very, 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 very important. Mechanics, these are the chapters which are important. Electrodynamics, which is electromagnetism, which you call it. Uh, in that also, alternating current and current electricity are the most important chapters. Optics, obviously, again, compulsory questions come from ray optics and wave optics. If you talk about the medium weightage, it's waves and oscillations as an entire unit. Then even KTG thermo, as well as fluid mechanics. If you talk about the lower weightage topics, you have the semiconductor systems and all of that. Usually one to two questions maximum will come. But sometimes it has happened that this block can also come over here and this block can go over there. So usually fluid mechanics and semiconductors can get interchanged at times. So it's up to you. If you like fluids, keep it here. If you like semiconductors, then you can keep it in the medium weightage. But usually they go a little bit hand in hand only. Anyways, coming back to other topics like experimental physics, very rarely they ask anything. And also uh, other topics like elasticity or surface tension, circular motion. And there are some uh, concepts even in rotation where they usually don't touch the complex problems of angular momentum conservation and all of that. So you can keep this as the low weightage least priority topics or chapters all right so how much time you have less than obviously one month 1.5 months barely depending on when you are watching this video and there will be few days which will go depending on when your shift arrives when your board exam pre-board exam all those things are going to be so give or take 30 days in hand and we have a target of completing the syllabus depending on how much you have already completed and how much you want to revise Plus, we have to keep some time for revision, mock test, analysis in the month of January, at least 5 to 10 days. So, let's see how do we actually end up preparing. So, we know we have a lot of chapters to cover, all right? And you have to study more than one chapter per day. In fact, you can go from three to five chapters 
per day depending on how much is left so let's see what is it that we are going to do to divide the time now obviously if you are getting scared sir i can't do so many chapters per day no issues decide your target fine sir i'm okay with getting 93 percentile or 95 percentile in the first attempt i'm not that great or i just want barely 91 92 percentile focus completely on the high weightage topics ignore the medium and ignore the low weightage also just focus on the high weightage still you will end up getting more than 90 percentile i'm telling you sir i want 95 96 percentile at least then you will have to go to medium percentiles oh, sorry medium weightage also till up to 98 Yes, you can manage, even if you skip complete low weightage topics. Sir, I want to for sure get about 99. Then you have to start focusing on the uh, low weightage a little bit and you have to master high weightage and medium weightage. Main thing, even when you leave those low weightage, even then you can get 99. It's not like that. But you have to master that high weightage and low weightage. So you can decide to skip few chapters. So don't think, sir, I have to do three, four chapters, five chapters per day. No. It's up to you. What is your target? What is your capacity? How much you can digest? Every person is different. One rule can't apply to all. Everybody is at a different stage. So let's start doing things. That is the most important thing. Don't just overthink. Don't think, can I do it? Can I be able to complete the portion? All those things, please remove those negative thoughts. When you start doing, that's when you start achieving. So this is the block one of uh, physics, as you can see. On Monday, I want you to do all these things on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, feel free to shift this block from here, let's say Wednesday, and you can add chemistry over here. Or maybe uh, on Friday and Thursday, I want to do maths. Maybe on Saturday, again, I want to do chemistry. It's completely up to you. But you should know in a day how you are going to divide your time, how much time is needed and all of that. That is very important. So you can't just start off with problems in gravitation if you have no idea. Fine. I uh, see through a crash course or one shot or whatever video. I understand the concept. Then I go to basic level one questions. Then I give some, uh, you know, practice questions. Then I do full revision. Then I solve PYQs on Sundays and Saturdays so that I understand the concepts. I grasp it. I digest it. Then go to PYQs. Fair enough. No issues. This is how a block plan should look like where you are studying, practicing, studying, practicing revising getting a grip and towards the weekend you are solving more and more pyqs when you do especially the difficult pyqs you can solve few pyqs here but they should be the easy ones then okay now having said this some of you might have already understood the concept let's say of rotation skip this part you are directly going to start over here maybe just the problem solving so that way you can get more and more time so like i said feel free to adjust this this is just to give an idea of how the block should look like so this is the block two of physics as you can see all the uh, things are mentioned what you should be doing then this is the block three for electromagnetism again a very important block obviously so many things are there then this is block four optics modern physics all the things are mentioned Remember, some of them will be high weightage, some of them will be low weightage or medium weightage. So you need to decide what is your priority, how much you can do, how much you can't do, how many hours you are getting, how many hours you are not getting. Accordingly, adjust, feel free to do that. If you talk about chemistry, a similar block for that, you, uh, don't worry, I will share you this entire PDF so that you can uh, download it and you can copy paste it, you can cut it paste it wherever you want, arrange your own schedule, download one calendar of December month and January month and paste it. Okay, this day I'm going to do this, this day I'm going to do that. Make your own schedule. It's completely up to you. Then this is inorganic uh, mainly, which is block number two. All right, don't worry, I'll be sharing the PDF. And uh, this is organic chemistry block three, how you should be completely doing it. Always doing the theory first, basics, fundamentals, application, then formulas, level one questions, basic PYQs, then revising with more difficult PYQs, and then analyzing through the mock tests. Then block four, again, physical advanced chemistry, right? These are the concepts. These are the chapters. Talking about mathematics, this is your first block. This is your first block. This is your second block, as you can see. This is your third block, as you can see. This is your fourth block, as you can see over here. All these are four-week plans. And remember, 
in every week there will be three subjects so you have to allocate the times accordingly i have put over here two to three hours this is maximum maximum time for the dropper students but you will not take so much time it should be one to two hours where uh, i mean uh, easily you will be able to do it timetable wise i have shared a reference timetable which you can follow or if you don't want to you can create your own timetable this timetable also i'll be sharing it as a pdf in the uh, link which is there in the description as well as in the uh, you know your uh, yes a telegram channel now if you want all of this to be completed by someone then let me tell you there is a crash course in pure english as you can see the link is there in the description because it might look scary sir i don't think i can manage by self study i please need your help no worries we will help you out we'll complete the syllabus we'll conduct tests also and we'll make it faster because if we or the teacher is doing it you have to see it you have to do the next part you have to do the problem solving dpps uh, book will be given to you you have to practice that book tests you have to give so that part at least you will be able to do and that will speed up the process because time is limited number 2 the main thing is competitive environment will come number 3 when you have a schedule in front of you you don't have to plan too much already teachers are taking care of it fine you are a self study student you have to be very disciplined you have to follow you have to prepare everything properly you cannot miss anything so if you want the live classes will be properly scheduled in the j crash course along with the test series dpps books doubt solving inside the class every sunday tests unlimited for uh, access to the dpps dpp generators full syllabus mock test towards the end and there are three versions obviously the crash prime is the cheapest one gives you all these facilities but some of you might be wanting some extra things like i want the printed material i want doubt solving even after the class sir i want all these things then you go for the crash pro doubt solving and the printed material courier to you crash pro plus gives you one more extra thing and that is the most important thing which is the personal teacher and a mentorship one is to one mentorship one is to one teacher which will help you personally in your entire last month i think this is what many people actually go for because in the last month i mean just joining some batch and you know uh, just thinking that okay it will be done sometimes you might need that extra push that you know that love that affection you need that hand holding that's when you go for the personal mentorship where our teachers will help you and guide you personally so that is your crash pro plus so i will share all these details as well on the pdf and whatever i have given you these time tables and these schedules also at the same time the link for the crash course is there in the description box okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video and you will be implementing whatever blocks the weightages that i have given you for all the chapters in the next 4 weeks and then the last one or two weeks use it for revision mock tests and full complete revision okay so thank you for liking thank you for subscribing bye bye